In this demo, we'll be taking a look at a new feature that got introduced in 2.1.2 called Compliance. So on the inventory, you can see here, we introduced a new column called Compliance. I mean, these are the various states of compliance. There are different types of compliance checks that happens. One is automated, which basically gets triggered if there is any out of band changes that happens on the network device, we will get the traps from the network device to DNA center, which will trigger the compliance check. That is nothing but automated. Manual compliance checks are nothing but one can run the compliance check manually. So per device, you can do this. Once you do this, automatically we run the compliance check and then tell you what are the problems that we are seeing. And the other one is a scheduled compliance check. So that happens every Saturday midnight, 11 p.m. UTC. Uh, so again, this is nothing but a cron job that runs every Saturday at 11 p.m. So that will do the complete check, full check of all the network devices that's there on the inventory. Now, uh, let's take a look at different types of compliance checks. So when I say different types, so today we do startup versus running, configuration uh, compliance check, and we have some checks around fabric and application visibility and software image management. And finally, there's also a compliance check for security advisories. Now coming to the startup versus running configuration. So if there are any out of band changes that were done on the network device, we automatically get an alert and the automated uh, compliance check kicks in it will do the device collection again it will identify if there's any difference between the intent on DNA center versus what's on the network device so we also show that there is a difference if you can see here there is a red dot which says two lines have been added and if I click that it will basically show me the difference so in this case you can see that there are two VLANs that got added VLAN 2000 and 2011. So that is the new addition that's on the device, which is not on DNA center. And also there's an option to do the compliance check between the previous running configuration as well. So again, uh, to dig deeper, you can do that. And also we can see that the same VLAN it's missing on the previous configuration as well. And uh, let's get into the fabric again based on what's the intent on DNA center and what's on the device, we, we get the uh, configuration done and you can see that the Lisp process zero, that's the name of the model on DNA center. And it says the status is removed, the value on DNA center and what's the value on the device. So we even show the difference as to what is missing. And when it comes to the application visibility, Basically, we show if there are any changes that's been done to C bar or N bar configuration not running on the network device. So here in this case, you can see that the C bar protocol uh, on this uh, particular interface is removed. And this is a value on DNA center and this is the value on the network device. That's the reason why we've gotten this uh, application visibility alert. And also if there is any change in the software management, when, when somebody tags a golden image, we immediately check the if the devices are running that golden image. If not, we straight away raise an alert saying that there is a mismatch between what's being tagged as a golden image and what's running on DNA center on the network device. And uh, automatically this uh, check triggers and that shows up immediately. And talking about the security advisories, we basically, if there is any security advisory scan that happens and if it returns any uh, vulnerabilities, we basically show that uh, there is a problem. So in this case, if you can see here uh, for this uh, device, there are two vulnerabilities that came up. That's the reason why you can see the compliance uh, alert growing up. And also another important one, which I would like to showcase as well is for the network profiles. So if there is any change in the uh, intent versus what's on the device. So let me take a look at one of the uh, 9800 controllers. 
so you can see that there is a change on the network profiles uh, that's the intent on DNA center this is what's on the device so some out of band changes were made and you can see that these four uh, network profiles or this one network profile where multiple things were changed so uh, some options some attributes are enabled this is uh, some attributes were disabled on the network device which raised this alert pretty much and uh, that's about it